So Henry Selick's latest stop-motion masterpiece is already being hailed as one of the scariest kids' films ever made. A dark fairy tale from the man who gave us the nightmare before Christmas, there's very little sweet about Coraline. It's a terrifyingly twisted film, and certainly not one for young children. Her own home. A parallel place. We've been waiting for you, Coraline. Where parents are always fun. I love your garden! Can't believe you did this! And everything is so good. What's shaking, baby? It just can't be real. Mom? You're just in time for supper, dear. You're not my mother. My mother doesn't have... But... But, but, but buttons? Do you like, you like it here, don't you, Coraline? You could stay here forever. There's one tiny little thing we need to do. Black is traditional. <gasps> She's got this whole world where everything's better, but it's all a trap. You may come out when you've learned to be a loving daughter. There are some doors <gasps> that should never be opened. Proceedings revolve around a young girl who moves to a spooky old house with her folks. Ignored by her parents, she discovers a secret door leading to a parallel world, complete with more loving versions of mum and dad. The only glaring difference is that they have buttons for eyes. Calling the twisted fantasies Roald Dahl used to make, it's scary stuff indeed, but as we all remember, being scared was one of the thrills of childhood. Still, I would caution against this being watched by under 10s despite the PG certificate. Overall, a 4 out of 5.